in a trailer. Do you sleep? I just had the craziest dream. Well, it was crazy. Dreamed a, a Matco truck again. <laughs> Matco truck. That's the M word, right? guys as many y'all know the story with the old matco dealer that we got we got a brand new matco dealer today is the very first day that he's allowed filming on his truck this is his third trip to the shop so today's the very first time that i'm gonna look at the truck same as you guys anyway we're hoping to take that sign right there down today so you guys come take a look meet my new dealer take a look at his truck because i think you guys are gonna like him all right guys here's his brand new truck like i say he's a brand new dealer so let's go inside and take a look at what he's got look at there selling oakley sunglasses that's a that's a plush right there All right, guys, so a little quick background. Um, our new dealer, he is from our local hometown, so that's awesome to, uh, to have a local guy. And y'all all know the story with the old guy, so we got a brand new slate, so we're gonna move forward and have good things now, right, Michael? Yes, sir. Got a lot of stuff, a whole lot of stuff. Got that brand new smell too. Yes, brand sir. new tool truck smell. Plenty of stuff to choose from. So you got the bit set I like, huh? We have a couple different styles to choose from. Look, Bill's done found him something he can't live without. Well, I've got the smaller set. I'm just looking at this one to see what all it had in it. And you come from an automotive background, right? Yes, sir. That's always a plus. ASC Master, Toyota Master Tech. I work on hard stuff. I'm working on the hard stuff. All right, guys, let me set y'all down so I can actually do some shopping now. Y'all got to do more looking than I have. That's what that set looks like. That's not what you're looking for. Um, the one I want, I think it's an S-Bit 11. The bit holder is really the thing that I want to buy. It holds the bits and you can push them up from the bottom and they'll pop out like you knock them off your roll cart or whatever, they don't fall out. Same top, so it's real durable. The wheels are made out of the same thing, so real durable. The drawers are weighted for good weight, so pull it all the way out. Next, take a seat. Oh, y'all, look at that. Let me make sure y'all can see that. Take a seat, double bend, double 45 bend here. Good sturdy drawer, heavy duty casters. No problem holding us up there. Like I said, we got the 
same thing that bowling balls are made out of on the top you can actually flip it over so if you're hammering on the top it does chip a little bit out we just flip mm -hmm. it over but it is heavy enough it's going to take two people damn yes yeah, oh, so usb awesome. port they also come with power drawers in them uh so some of them's got power drawers to where when you pull them out they'll actually have a roll-up cable yeah so that's an option that some of them come with uh, you can adjust the tension on the drawers. So I've got the tension turned up so they don't come open driving down the road, but mm -hmm. you can actually adjust it to where it's easier or harder to open. We got a, our third wall here is actually welded up top at the bottom and in the back. That way this does not move. So when you load the drawers down, it doesn't, you don't have trouble doing that. We also mm -hmm. on our large, larger boxes, we put a third wheel there. That way it doesn't bow in the middle. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's got the heavy duty springs on the, on the casters and everything. Spring guys. That's right. Powder coated, not just regular paint, so we can get several colors. We have all the different colors here and all the different brown packages here. That's nice. I bet you sell a lot of that green, don't you? They like the green. They like the green. You know what I almost bought when I bought my box? I almost bought a white one. A white one? Mm -hmm. We actually can get white. Cause the, this is my thinking behind white. Black. You know, like a black vehicle, you have to wash it every day to keep it clean. So I figure I bought a white truck and I like it because it looks clean most of the time, even when it's dirty. And I thought, man, that'd be perfect for a, you know, a box to do the same way. You know what else I like? You What's, actually know what the hell you're talking about with these boxes because we ain't used that, are we, Bill? Mm -mm. No, these are actually made in Jamestown, New York. They have four S's, five S's, and six S's. The six S is the top of this series. Um, this is actually the three bay, that's the two bay. But they also come out with a new box called the Rebel Boxes. And they're they're um, a step on of these, mm -hmm. so. That's a good looking box, I ain't no doubt. I love that right there. I always have problems with my little ends, the plug-ins, right. they always go bad. Yep. And you ain't got a good phone or yep. line anymore. So you definitely got my bit set order. Yes, it's order. I actually got your receipt. What is that? That's a fluid transfer pump. So what that does is any drill that you got, you put that in there. Uh huh. You put it in that right there. One side sucks in, one side sucks, sucks, uh, sucks it out. So therefore, it right there. makes the hand pumps go away. You ain't gotta worry about that any longer. I like that. What are those, uh, what's the lumens on these right here? And this is for car, like you can leave your car charger, right? Yeah, you can leave it in the car charger or you can leave it on your desk. It plugs in either way. That way you always have a charged battery on it. comes with two batteries? Yes, it's got a battery in it and that battery. That battery is constantly charged. Plus when you put it on there, it starts charging that one. But it's 260 lumens is what it's, what it's rated at. Now, if you do a lot of work in underneath cars and stuff like that, where you have to sit a lot up, mm -hmm. I think this one right here is rated at like 1,200 lumens. Yeah, I've got one like that. I want my, like I use this little, this one all the time. But, yeah. You know, for a, like vehicle, I thought about trying to mount something where it'd be yeah. charging all. I time. have one of those and it's really handy. Uh, it works till it's dead. It, it won't, it won't dim. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's bright to it instead, and then it has another battery ready to go. I like it, it's got two batteries. Two batteries, a uh, charger for your car, and a regular plug charger. Streamlights lifetime warranty, so. Mm, yeah, I've been really impressed with this streamlight, but man, I have put this damn thing. It took a bunch of beatings. Chisel holder, punch holder. in your fingers. Yeah, we've all swung the hammer a little too far over at least, right? <laughs> Say something when you're in a hurry, it's when it'll get you. What, is that a 916? Looks like it. I believe it is, Bill. It looks like it. I've got my 716 and the one for batteries. That with that name? I think the 916. So 
but uh, no, um, I've got a package at the house waiting to stock the truck, and I've got a the package. So what I do is, if you buy anything, say you buy that, the minute you buy it, I, I order another order one. Order no. Yeah. Uh, that way, I always have something on the truck. An empty truck's a sign of a tool man going out of business. Ooh, big empty, yeah. Are... Well, now the Nipix come out with these, the Swedish wrenches here, so they're adjustable. Have you ever seen that, Bill? Look at that. Are they locked down? Yeah. Oh, my God. You don't have to show everybody that. We gotta show that off. That's, I ain't never seen that. Y'all, look at this. See if y'all have ever seen one of these. And you know what? This guy knows what he's talking about, too. He'll tell you what it actually does. So it actually locks in spots, just like the Nipix pliers does. This is a Nipix plier, but you just adjust it where you need it to and lock it so it's not steadily moving while you're doing the bolt. Of course, you know about the teeth on the Nipix they grab. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you adjust it where you want it at, lock it in place, and no moving on it. That is awesome right there. Very nice. Let me get you my part number on this thing. I mean, that ain't cool. SPW13A. That's nice. Uh-oh. He doing a penny test. Have you ever did it on these? Not hmm. with those. We got to do tests, right? I'm not gonna do it, because... So go ahead and squeeze that. Be sure and tell them how much strength you can't. They can't. Don't use one hand. Don't use two. That. Go ahead. Start squeezing it. So, how much force are you actually putting on those? Very little. So you can see the penny actually bends. That's all by the way it's made. If you'll take a look, that's the crazy. way it rotates right there, it gives you ten times force. So. That's crazy cool. From to be as small as they are. Yep. And to bend that penny like that. You can actually bend it all the way down over. You just gotta adjust the pliers. That is crazy. That is awesome. Hmm. Need you a pair of them, Clay. Wow. We learning something today, guys. Learning something. So basically this is the same thing, but it's just easier. Instead of rolling it, you just adjust it with that. See, the teeth's the same. It's just a quicker design that Nipex is coming with. Alright, how much is this thing? Okay. What else do we need, Bill? actually has the feet on it. That's the right color too. So these are twist lock as well. Mm -hmm. Put the socket on, twist and lock them. If you do happen to hit one of them, knock it, break it, I keep them in stock so that we can get it changed out. That's very nice. I like that color too. Does it come in different colors too? Or just red? I'm uh, not sure. I think it's just red. That's my color, but I know Bill's, Bill's a green guy. Man, you got a lot of tools on this truck. That's very impressive, just starting out too. All right guys, let me turn this thing off. We're gonna get Michael paid up and uh, we'll show you guys what we bought. Y'all hang in there. All right guys, as you've seen, Michael is a super awesome guy. And uh, we're gonna start with a clean slate because I've said it before, it's all about the dealer. He seems like a super nice guy. Um, I was actually really impressed with his truck and the stock that he had on it. And as far as his personality, I believe he's gonna be a super awesome guy. So let me show you guys kind of some of the things that we picked up and uh, we'll go from there. The first thing I got is a punch and chisel holder. That part number is PCH. OB. 
And um, for those of you that may not have seen it before, you unscrew it, you put your punch or chisel in here, tighten it down, and you don't mash your fingers. So that's gonna be very nice to have around. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, I showed you guys on the truck. I just couldn't pass these up. You know, they're designed kind of like the PWZs or the Swedish pipe wrench, whatever you want to call it. But I like this feature here that they have with the, the teeth. So I went ahead and picked these up. I think this is going to be a very handy pair. That part number is SPW13A. And uh, Michael's having a drawing on the truck. It's a pretty cool deal. He's going to draw, I believe he's sending two weeks. Uh, you get a ticket and for your purchases and he'll draw one of the tickets and you get $400 truck credit so that's super cool anyway guys uh make sure to leave down in the comments some good comments from michael because it is a new venture for him it's a brand new business he's a brand new dealer um i made the intro for this video three weeks ago in anticipation you know for the matco guy coming because Really and truly, I was I was kind of excited to see what he had, you know. Um, he showed up the first two weeks, didn't feel comfortable filming, and um, so that's why you guys haven't seen any Matco stuff. I hadn't been on the truck except for today. That's Y'all seen it when I seen it, so I was really impressed with it. Super nice guy. Um, he had his wife with him. She was a very nice lady. Um, I think it's going to be a good thing for all of us. So you guys be sure to give him a good warm welcome down here in the comments. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Like always, guys, thank y'all for watching. Definitely appreciate each and every view I get. Be sure to smash man, that man. like button and make Michael feel happy about you guys and us doing a truck tour with him today. Because like I said, this is the first time. And I'm hoping things will just get better from here. So give him a good warm welcome. Like always, his card's going to be at the end. So if you guys live close and y'all are in his area, be sure to text him, buy some tools. Help the guy get off on a good foot, you know, and keep his business going, and hopefully this will grow. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great one. Click that subscribe down below, and we will catch y'all next time. All righty, guys. We're going to pull this sign down since it ain't true. We're going to write, we're gonna write the old dealer's name on that. There well, we go, just, guys. Let's do that. Let's, let's start new, all right? All right. Thank you, work. sir. You want to introduce yourself to everybody? Yeah, everybody, I'm Michael Cummins. Uh, been living in Boone Wolf all my life. Uh, quick background was a automotive technician. Uh, eight years as a uh, technician. Master ASE, Master Toyota. Uh, worked on other stuff, decided to own my own business. So here I am, ready to serve you. Um, be great, be glad to uh, help you in any way. Just let me know. All right. Guys, I'll put Michael's card at the end of this video if you're in this area. What areas you run? I run Boneville, Corinth, uh, Kossuth, over to Walnut. Uh, then we also do Ripley, Blue Mountain, uh, in between there. Then we also do Burnsville, Iuka, and Red Bay, Alabama. All right, and guys. And Tishomingo. That's a big area. So if you guys are in this area and y'all need some Matco stuff, his car will be at the end of this. Give him a call, shoot him a text, give him a chance.